This video shows how to debug an Android app. Now, what you see here is a small uh, Java code with which I have written on in my Android Studio. And when I want to know now what value is given at a definite point, then I set a breakpoint here on that left side uh, into my code. And then I run here on the top menu uh, the debug app. Uh, this is uh, Alt Alternate uh, F9. Now it opens my virtual device. So the Android emulator is starting. <coughs> it builds the Gradle in the background, so it's compiling or pre compiling the app. The app connects. Uh, to the emulator and as soon as the code came in here the, there came this blue line and uh, now this means the, the debugger st stands on this breakpoint and as we see there here in our uh, debug window this one is the debug window debugger we have here uh, sub uh, wi windows and this is uh, the uh, F9 is to resume the stuff and we, here we have the variables and we see here automatically the local valuable valuable which is uh, be binary match is true and true is if true is true it should go on now here are the steps uh, this is step over step into is uh, if we have here toast make for example then it jumps into the uh, subroutine uh, now we want to step over <coughs> but <coughs> before before we go on uh, i had some uh, other text in here uh, before and i said okay uh, the match itself was here this a uh, small uh, code and i wanted to evaluate this expression and you can go there uh, on separate uh, lines uh, select it and then you may evaluate this stuff so <coughs> uh, you you will get the at runtime so you see also here you could con control and shift enter to add those to, to watches control shift enter and then we have uh, watches on the right side and you could also drop it to the left side so you see uh, see that stuff a little bit better or in a single separate that stuff now again when we go there step by step now you see this uh, evaluations if you may edit that, remove, edit, if s row equals s search, then this is false. Um, and sometimes this one s row equals s search is here in this case also false, but uh, usually that's that's true. What I want to say there is you may edit that these values and stop them. I've you are also able to set a lock uh, for data logger uh, expression so log x uh, log dot something is uh, log d is for debug uh, stuff log e is for exception i for information and uh, v is for verbose i don't know what verbose is for uh, w is for warning so you may also all, all the time take this log d but wh where is this stuff now uh, you will find it here at the android monitor and <coughs> the trick is that when you take there uh, here in expression when you go there uh, you may set um, set a filter edit filter configuration here then you may say okay this is my filter and as soon as you take here in uh, when I say here only show me the tag the log tag RP Raymond Pop in log level debug and I'm saving this then I will see only my own 
positions which I written there so I said here log D uh, log RP the, this is my log uh, uh, exit or exit position and here is my uh, the final stuff which is uh, visible so you see here I said okay it, these are the generated um, let's go there again I'm running it again uh, it's the it's disconnected so, uh, by any reason it changed the uh, app here now I go back to my filtering and as soon as I do some stuff there first I kill everything now I say switch and as soon as I switch that one then I will see these values here as my debugging console normally it's the console but it's not the same like, like the Gradle console so you may, you may take this and I hope I could help you by this point uh, so remember the debugging is in here you will see those values and